up everybody, Jim with Reverb.com. Today we are taking a look at the Canyon Climber, a new fuzz from the fuzz freaks up in Detroit Rock City known as Jax Tellez. So it is the Canyon Climber, but more importantly, it is Jonathan Wilson's Canyon Climber. Jonathan Wilson, fantastic producer. You've probably heard him if you listened to the last Father John Misty record or the new Roger Waters record, which is fantastic. Um, and he is in love with uh, this FY2 companion fuzz made by Shin A in the 1960s. It's more like a broken, starved transistor fuzz. It's super trebly, it's super bitey, and it cuts through the mix no matter what's going on underneath it. So this is an exact replica of Jonathan's FY2 fuzz that you hear on those records, right down to the NOS transistors that Jextel has measured down to a fraction of a percent. And those transistors are really what gives this thing its sound. So the original FY2s had a fuzz and a volume knob. On this pedal, they're labeled as biofeedback and nature. There is a switch uh, in the center, which we'll get into in a second, but let's, uh, let's just check out what it sounds like right out of the box. Super, super bitey, really, really cool. There's tons going on in the in the upper mid range um, that I love. There's even like almost like a filter effect going on that I love. Check out if I just hold one note. So the biofeedback knob is the fuzz knob. Um, it doesn't really bring in more or less fuzz. It almost acts almost like an EQ. So let me show you the range here. Here's all the way up. back it's a little bit too starved for me but it's still a super super cool tone i've been running it just a little bit over the midpoint um, i think it sounds really really great there fy2s are notorious for being much quieter than your actual clean signal you actually lose db out of it um, which is something that jonathan wilson really wanted to solve with his fy2 so when jex telez uh, wanted to jump into the circuit they added the switch um, and the switch goes from hipster to vanity the vanity side is I think it's about a 10 dB boost. To me, it feels like 150 dB boost. It's massive. Uh, you get tons more sustain. The EQ flattens out just a little bit, but it's still all the character um, of that original FY2, uh, just a little bit more output. Well, a lot a bit more output. Really quiet. Let's flip the switch. characteristics of this pedal, especially now that I'm in high output, you can really hear it a little bit more. You almost get this upper octave ring mod sort of a sound, especially if I, if I goose the fuzz up just a little bit. doesn't do the whole like you know play full chords here every single note but it does sound really cool with two three notes um, especially when you split the octave um, a little bit more so check it out people say a velcro style fuzz this is what they're talking about tons of high end tons of pick attack but in a really really interesting way that reminds me, Colin from Radiohead uses one of these on a bunch of tunes, Mixomatosis, uh, exit music for a film. Let me grab a bass. Is 
that kind of filtering thing that I was talking about, it almost reminds me of a prunes and custard pedal, which if you have a bass, you probably have checked one of those out. Really rad pedals. And if you noticed on the bass, I actually just just cranked this fuzz uh, so that I had even more high end coming out of it. Obviously, Colin didn't use a Supro bass, but these things are really cool and the gold foils sound awesome. <laughs> It. That's Jonathan Wilson's Canyon Climber from Jex Telez. We should go check it out. It's a rad pedal, sounds great with guitar, bass, pretty much anything you throw at this thing. It's gonna sound Velcro-y and awesome. You can get it exclusively on Reverb for the time being. Uh, you should definitely check it out and we'll see you next time.